Aïdélé Gundar Goshen, bonjour. Bonjour. Un grand merci d'avoir accepté l'invitation de la fringale culturelle. Vous êtes de passage à Paris pour nous parler de votre livre « Une nuit Markovitch » disponible aux éditions Les Presses de la Cité. Et je suis ravi de vous rencontrer car votre livre est un vrai coup de cœur. Comment est née l'idée de ce roman I met the person that this novel is based upon because I was visiting uh, the family of my boyfriend in a village in Jerusalem and then I saw uh, a house with somebody who living there and I asked who lives there because the house looks a bit sad, a bit melancholic and then they told me the story about the person who lived there and they told me the story, it's a real story about uh, the woman who was rescued from uh, Nazi Europe by uh, this person who was supposed to marry her and then get a divorce but instead of divorcing her he kept her by force, married to him and the whole village knew this story and talked about it and I was fascinated by it. Sauf que ça se passe cette fois-ci dans un contexte bien particulier, on est en 1939. We, we are, it starts earlier because it starts uh, during Second World War, when you had Jews being in Europe and they wanted to leave, but they didn't have the possibility to enter a mandatory Palestine because the British people won't allow Jews inside. And then there was this group of men that left uh, Israel and they endangered themselves and their lives and they went all the way to Europe to marry women and to rescue them. But there was this one person in reality that when he came back to Israel, the woman was so beautiful and he felt so madly in love with her that he couldn't let her go. In your roman, it's also a story of love between the two girls. I like the concept of two men's relationship, which has a lot of libido and passion by itself. I think this is two different love stories. The love story between Yaakov Markovitch and Bella, the beautiful woman, and the love story between Yaakov Markovitch and Feinberg, who is this glorious man, very manly, like this, I don't know, a Zionist cowboy in a way. On a le sentiment que les, les, les deux se complètent. Feinberg, there is something very sensual and very dominant about him. He is the kind of person that when he enters the room, everybody knows that he entered the room. And when he wants to talk, he doesn't have to say to people, be quiet, I'm speaking. He starts to talk and everybody listen. And Malkovich, he's the exact opposite. He's the kind of person that even if he stands in the middle of the room, nobody would notice, nobody would remember his name one minute after he leaves. And if he wants to talk, then he has to wait and wait and do like this and wait for somebody to notice him. And I think this is what attracts them to each other, that each one of them finds in the other something that he is missing inside himself. 